Hello everybody, I'm Sheila and I'm here today to show you how to do this lovely heart shape. As you can see, after I've, that's where the heart finishes, but I've just took some thread through and carried on making a bit of a drop at the bottom. I'll leave that there just so you can see that. Um, we've got these gorgeous cathedral beads, which have got, these are, they're, they're red, but they're like a garnet red. Um, and they've got silver um, detail pattern on the top and underneath as well. And in the kit, we've also got these gorgeous silver ones as well, which have got the detail on exactly the same top and bottom. And then we've got some sort of uh, dark silver seed beads, which go lovely with the red. So here we go. So I've got four of the cathedral bees. I've just put them on a piece of thread with a needle. I've got a needle. And, um, and then we just tie those four together and then just tie a knot and then tie another knot over the top. So you get that really good tautness there. I'll do another one. And I'll cut that thread off then. So there we've got that really nice, tight, make sure you cut the right thread. <laughs> I've done that many a time. Right, okay. Now then what we're going to do, that's that's how that's how that's how it starts. That and then we have to turn it over. We have to turn it to the side like so. So we've got the thread. I'm going to take the other thread just through. So we've got the thread coming out here at the side there. There we go. So that's where the knot is. And then we're going to put another three on. One. Two. Three. So that's the one square we've done. We turn it to the, turn it so you've got your knot on the right hand side so you can actually see that. Um, and then put another three on because when we join it, we've already got that four on there. Okay, can you see that? So we'll do that again. So there's the four. Add another three. Because what we're doing, you'll be able to see in a moment just exactly what I mean. And if we take that thread through, we've then got, we've still got the knot there so we can see where we are. So we've then got, we've then got that's four and then that four. Now just to secure that section, because there's plenty of room in the holes in these, um, I'm just going to secure that because you need to do that to give it that grip. Otherwise you tend to, it tends to sort of move everywhere. But I need to come back to where I was before. So I'm just going to keep going through until I've secured those. Doesn't matter which way you go, just make sure that you come back in that same area there, but I just want to make them quite firm. So they're not going to be floppy. You need that good structure in your centerpiece. So we'll then end up coming back to where we were. Okay, so we've now got those. We've got four there and three there, but four, if you look at it like that, where it joins together. Now to get that heart shape, we've got to now join another one, two, three. And again, it's three because we're joining up to that one there, okay? So I'm going to push that through there. I'm going to try not to move it so you can actually see where I'm going. So that's that's the heart shape, start of the heart shape. And I'm just going to carry on taking that back through again. And bring it back to where we were before. It's just making sure that you've got your, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So you make sure that you've got your bees connected quite well, your, your cathedral bees. Take that back through. Now, as you can see, that's the, that's the shape 
of the um, of the heart shape. If I show you this here, it'll change slightly in a minute because we're going to put some seed beads around and in between them. Okay, so that's that's how we actually get that shape like this. So I'm going to go right back up to the top where that where we are there. And then we'll get a seed bead and then we put a seed bead in between each of the cathedral beads. We'll take that one over there. You see how that closes it up now and gives it more of a gives it more of a heart shape. So if we just carry on doing this all the way round in between each cathedral bead. Keep giving it a tug, it gives it that tightness then. Pop it There we go. Oops, caught. As you can see that now it's gradually coming Pull it tight, take it back through and then you will come then to the very last one which is where we started. Okay, and as you can see that is now the heart shape. Now what I did to actually go back down here, I actually took, took the thread back through, you can work your way through the thread, through the seed beads and then back down through the thread, up through the um, beads, sorry, with the thread and then just take, as you can see that's the bottom of the heart now there, so I just work my way back down to the bottom of the heart so I can actually now put a crimp bead on and then I put a crimp bead on, um, secured it with, um, I put a crimp bead, no I didn't put a crimp bead on, I'll take that back, sorry. I put another um, of the, I put a seed bead there, which is already there, and then I put one of, one of the um, cathedral beads, then I put a crimp bead on, and then I put a crimp bead cover over the top as you can see there, and then I just added some seed beads and popped on another cathedral bead at the bottom. But I just wanted to show you how to do the next section there. So I'm going to leave that on there, just for now. And then I'm going to just snip off here and just show you how to join. So if I just take that off, leave that there for now, and then I'll show you how to join the next section, which is this section here. Okay, I hope I don't run out of thread. So what I did, I just went through the seed, the, um, seed bead, and then I just attached, sorry, I just did a little, this is just a secure so you can carry on working with your with your cathedral bees and your seed bees. So just tie a knot there, okay, just to secure it. You won't see that, you won't see the thread when you've actually worked your way up through the next section. So what I've done then, I've popped on one of the red again. I've used, I'll cut that off. And then I've got one, two, three, four. Now I've got four because we're going to go round that bead, that cathedral bead, and then we're going to take it through, we're going to take it through the seed, the seed bead there, okay? And then we're going to put another four on, one, two, three, four, Then we're going to take it up and then see we need another 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 bead on there. So it's four on the one side, five on the other because we've already got a bead down there, okay? 
and then we just take that back through and then we take it back up you have to really pull as you can see how it starts to sit there it should be down here but I'll just show you how so that that is pulling there and it's actually securing that other bead there so I'm going to take that back up It's all a case of securing it once you've actually got, and if you find that you need another seed, seed bead and you can always join them, which I have done there. So then you just keep taking it back through and that, that, that seed bead there is the one that's already attached on your heart shape there. So if you find that you've got one too short or one too less or whatever, you can always add them on before you finally secure them and then just go back there then and then just keep going back round back up to the top to the next just to the top there where you can see it needs to sit again so it's about there so then we can start we can pop another one on there then okay so just pop on another one don't forget you've always got You need to put, because I've put, I've put, um, I've done a little circle there with the seed beads, sorry. And then I've popped on the cathedral bead and then I'll start again. So you want to put that next to the little um, circle of the cathedral beads and the seed beads. Pop on your other cathedral bead and then just one more. And then you're ready to start the next little section there. So it's again, oh hang on, there's just one I thought of already put one on whoops sorry about that so we've got one on there okay and now we're going to pop on the other one wherever it is there we go now we're going to start again taking those seed beads one two three four all the way around going back up through the the one that's already there and you have to make sure that you're pulling. This is where the tautness comes in. You have to make sure that you pull it really, really taut. And it's one, two, three. As you can see on the necklace here, one, two, three, four. Take it round. You need another, another one or two. It just, it just depends on how. So we take that round. I think that's about it now. So take that back round to those, really pull on, really, really tight. Take it back down. And then what I do to secure it, I take it back down, whoops. So keep your thread going through just to the bottom there till it comes to your next cathedral bead. And then take it back through the cathedral bead, the one before, because this is how you keep securing your your thread and then you can take it and then you can join because there's a bigger hole in these um, cathedral bees you can just carry on joining your thread so I tend to take it back through again take it back through the one before and because you've got a longer thread normally as we would work with and then just keep going round securing it back up there again back through your cathedral bead I'm just about going to have enough thread now here and then take it back up. <laughs> so I've run out of thread now because I don't like to use too long a section because it can get in the way. So then just take that thread right up to the center, right up to the center of this cathedral bead and the, and the um, seed beads here. And then just start again. Put one of your one of your cathedral beads on, then one of your seed beads and then another cathedral bead then start going around again. I hope that makes sense, <laughs> but uh, but that's that's how that works. So good luck, and um, I'd like to see some of your um, designs that you do on the Wall of Fame. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.